Thank you so much for staying tuned to uh, this channel. If you just joined us, this is this morning on ITV. We're taking a look at the subject of the removal proposed strike by NLC and TUC. We've heard the first discussion. They spoke their minds, spoke their opinions, and if we saw temper flare, but after like you know, they're supposed to just calm them down. Nigerians are not happy, but they said it must be done. With me here in the studio, to talk more on this, I have a vibrant youth. I'm not a perennial. Uh, join me to welcome Festus Eki. The Eki is too long, you don't know why. So it's like Eki, my what again? Eki, no young one, though. Eki, no young man, though. Okay, fine. All right. Well, you, you, you saw the first panelists at each other talking about their opinions, talking about their views, you know, discussing uh, passionately about the issue on the ground as an entrepreneur a politician and of course a youth mobilizer what do you feel about all this first us uh, first i want to say congratulations to the people uh, apc of progressive congress mm -hmm. and uh, welcome to nigeria to the president and let who is now the president i yeah. use the word welcome to nigeria because uh, when you are not seated as a president, you see it from our side mm. as a very different thing. Now, some decisions are going to be hard to make. You know, talk is cheap. But when you are not in the position to actually make some decisions, becomes a problem. Uh, the man was so very plain and blunt, and he said, first subsidy is gone. And a lot of talk has been coming from different angles. So I'm telling you, not, nothing like first subsidy. Mm. We are not, there is no first subsidy. But I am of the opinion. That even if there is or not, the man has given his time. First subsidy is gone. There are different analyses that before we got to Nigeria, it's not even up to 200. Why are they not telling us to pay 511 in a those states? Some states is 400, it's something, 440 something. What I want everybody to understand is it is a new dispensation. It's too early to start crying. Myself and some other Nigerians. Where those that said Tinimu will be the president today is the president. And we are waiting endlessly to see the man giving to us the dividends of democracy, mm -hmm. which I somewhat believe he will do. Because in his speech, when he met the progressive government yesterday, he, he was so, so streamlining some talk. First subsidy, no going back. We're going to do something about the security. Then he went to the monetary policy. He said a unified exchange rate. He reiterated that, that talk yesterday. Then the economy. So if the first thing he's doing now is to actually remove the first subsidy, let's wait and see how the thing is going. Then what's next? You should start working on security, economy, and the exchange rate. So if these four things are what we are going to receive from him, Nigeria will be better. But if the opposite is the case, we are going to storm the street. I said it here before, and they were like, no, it's too far. I said, when the new government comes in, we're going to have some scratches for the next six months. After which, Nigeria should be heading to where we ought to be. Hmm. If you look at the issue of fuel, we have our own fuel here. Refineries are here, they are not working. If actually the government is paying subsidy, which I cannot authoritatively say they pay or they are not paying, if actually they are paying subsidy, some persons are sitting there collecting the money. Now, subsidy is gone. Two things are going to happen. First, fuel consumption will reduce. Number two, nobody will carry Nigeria fuel out of Nigeria again. But what he said is that I can't be paying subsidy for Cameroon, Chad, Niger Republic, even Benin. He said no. Although I have, I have a personal, a, a different view about it. Mm -hmm. If actually our fear is leaving Nigeria after paying subsidy to neighboring countries, then the security agency, they are not working. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to go to that aspect. Let's work with him for now. Let's see reasons with him from what he has said. He gave reasons why he cannot be paying the first subsidy. And we as Nigerians are saying, okay, it's too early to start crying. Let's stay with him. I believe more in him. I believe he can do more. Hmm. So, if... Yeah, don't forget, you said it's about former President Mohamed Buhari 
See, I, 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 I don't want us to go to... Yeah, the, because you also said you believe in him, then when he just came on board. Uh, Mohammed Bouhari? Yes. No. When, when he came on board, he said, yes, he's going to do something about no, things. No, First, I mm. never work nor voted for him. Mm. I came to APC while there was issues in my party. Okay. That I am in your house. I must first love those in your house. Mm. You understand? And I've, I've said it here before that, in a scale of 1 to 10, if I was to rate PMB, then I know how to rate him. Okay. That has not to tell you PMB has taken Nigeria to Eldorado. He did nothing about that. But the present government just come into board. So we should give our president tenable time. And the time should be spanning between three to six months. Mm. After they will begin to cry, we begin to talk. A lot of us will be doing a lot of writing this time. We'll be doing a lot of writing publications because we have seen what happened in the past mm. nigerians were so quiet a lot of us we just come and you say no not even the lsc what were they doing okay fine is this strike is it really called for is it wednesday from your own angle is it really called for the the the, the i know will testify them mm. i'm sure the strike even if it's coming is not going to last it won't last even if it comes it's not going to last he said, we are going to dialogue with LNC and TU. So that's what he said. Mm. So if actually there's going to be a dialogue, he has started pushing for increase in minimum wage. But the fear I have is that the fear some Nigeria is having also. Some states are yet to pay the 30,000 minimum wage. Now the federal government is going to push for another. If the federal government push for another increase in minimum wage, is it that the federal government is going to be paying it? So there are a lot of fears in people's mind. Mm. But don't forget, this man is a politician per excellence. If you check the series of events he came into power, the man has been trying to meet with people, mm. let's reason, he told the progressive governors, if Nigeria must work, all of us must put our hand on that. Mm. So it's not going to be a, a kind of government where you just sit and look. Some governors are going to have it hot. You know, I've always been saying that Nigeria problem is not just the presidency, it's state governors. Hmm. So, if the strap will not hold, there is something Aisha is going to tell the LNC that they will believe him for. And if they should believe him, which he have just stated that there will be a review of the minimum wage, then he should also get ready to fight some states. So, what about the price right now? The price right now is, for those states, it's 5 hmm. And we are buying like that for now. September, the Dangote finale will be giving fear to Nigerians. So there's going to be a lot of ease after that. Price reduction or price the same price? Definitely will come. But what we were told is the cost of buying, bringing it down, hmm. is about this aggregate. So we have to put it here. And that's where the calling and the names of, or, or the fact is coming from. Somebody said no, no subsidy. Some people are hitting the money. Like what Barrister said, if actually what we call subsidy is not subsidy, now we are going to be buying for for 511, meaning some person will still be draining from us. So the president will have to do work. That's why I said a lot of us who are going to be writing, a lot of population should start coming in. The president should wake up in the morning and see Nigerians writing about people, either in the NNPC or the independent marketers that are siphoning us. Mm -hmm. If actually, from what Barista Doc said, because I'm, I'm going to tell you I don't have a, a clear understanding of that analysis, that the first subsidy was actually a scam, which some people have been saying, and now no more first subsidy. So federal government will not be paying it. Nigerians will not be paying it. It's not fair. So let Nigerians wake up. We should speak. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's call names of people. We shouldn't be afraid to say, ah, this man, Osani here is in charge. He's the one doing this, he's the one doing that. I was talking with a friend. I said, we have a lot of government agencies that are not working. A police station will tell you, for now is 600. But NLPC, for those states, is 511. The bank man, which ought to start from June. What is EFCC doing? Is yeah, June or July? July, July 1st. Mm -hmm. Is that not economic sabotage? Hmm. Is that not an economic crime? If 
you are if you ought to buy this thing for 10 naira and someone is selling for 20 naira first you visit the assistant and tell them why he's selling it at that rate but you see this agency they are used to looking for those that will give them quick money when they see a young man driving a car they'll stop him ah, how do you get this? before you know bring your phone they begin to arrest this man meanwhile in the same state you are staying a lot of economic crimes are going on a lot of financial crimes are going on and you know what they do they do like this they don't talk so these are areas where some of us we have to take our pen we we'll write give it to a news agency you have to publish it i believe every day the presidency still pick up newspaper to read if after three months we are writing about one particular thing, there should be need for a, 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 a kind of analysis. They should go and carry out their own personal research and actually check if this is a real. Mm -hmm. So for Nigeria at present, the strike will come because it is it's necessary. Necessary in the sense that you cannot beat a man and not expect the man to cry. Buying for 511, 480, for something is going to be pain on every nigerians so the strike will come but their palliative should also come hmm. aside the palliative the federal government should sit down have a holistic analysis of how this first subsidy money has been going if there is anything that is not clear then they should understand that they are no longer paying it, but we nigerians are the one paying it so if we are paying it and as a responsible government it shouldn't be because the same Bola Ahmed Timu were among those that said subsidy is a scam. Now, if I said this thing was a scam, now I am here and I'm saying I am removing it. Why you remove it? Carry had a research on that particular thing. Let there be a very wide analysis, a, an holistic one where you have to start from how did first subsidy comes about. Who was the first person that received the money? Hmm. How will we be paying it? All right, now you just want to, want to go for a break. We'll return. We'll continue with this discussion. Don't go away. We'll be right back. TMI. Every opinion counts. Thank you so much for staying tuned to this channel. If you just joined us, this is This Morning on ITV. We're taking a look at some of the removal proposed tribe by NLC and TUC and of course I have a key first up with me here in the studio political activist human rights activist and entrepreneur politician you just name it is all encompassing one person first us. now let's take a look at the prize even if subsidy has been removed should pump prize you know gain this over 200 percent increment or let's say over a hundred percent increase as it is currently right now in the country from your own analysis uh, mr winston <clears throat> you know nigeria is a country where every man sees an opportunity to eat and want to eat everything mm. uh, and uh, a lot a lot of them are going to be in trouble soon because the president is not going to fold his hands and watch them give him bad name so you are not going to start calling Tinubu names because of independent marketers. Because of their selfish gain. So they, they, they decided to, to fix the price. Within the NMPC and the independent marketers, everything that is happening there, they know it. You understand? Yes. So the NMPC and the independent marketers if there is any shady deal, they are the ones in charge. Hmm. It's, 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 it's just about seven days now that we have a new president. Not up to a week. Not, not up to a week. So hmm. I so much believe on his charisma. He is a hmm. man that with time, a lot of things will be unveiled. And if you are caught one thing, you're going to be in problem. Because for the start, people are saying, ah, what is uh, Tinibu is bad, Tinibu is it, Tinibu is that. How will you remove subsidy? I just know the, the man of Fana that. Officially, even with the removal of subsidy for to be like 250, 300, mm -hmm. and we were buying for 511, as the those state is now. I guess the person in the, 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 that is found wanting will suffer a lot. So, mm -hmm. the price to me, 
like what you just uh, uh, what Falana said yes. that is it the NFP that have to have given that, that have to have given a benchmark or oh, Mr. President of, of, of you now with our Minister of Petroleum mm. that should be the so role of Mr. President. Mm. They ought to have come, meet him, tell him, these are the analysis. When you are true, tell you, okay, drop it in my table and go. You have a chief of staff already. The secretary is there. You have an advisor already. Let's check this thing. Within two, three days, they will have to check. After checking, they will now say, okay, why not leave it here? But if you saw what happened, imagine the president said, no more for subsidy. Fuel station. They adjusted immediately, 600, 500, 700. In less than two days, NPC came out and said, this is not the new price. That is to say, these persons have had plans on ground already. It is not something that happened to them as a shock. That, ah, Mr. President, you are removing subsidy. Why? He immediately made the announcement. Pump price went up. Less than 48 hours, a new list began to circulate. Is not the new price. So if you check it, there are a lot of shady deeds. There are a lot of things that are abnormal. And these are the area we expect the president to start working on. The president should just wake up. People should go to NPC and check what's happening there. The independent marketer. Who are these people? What what is what, what do they actually want? The, okay, we are independent market and now we do this. Go and check. They are big men. But, but, but I said it's according to market realities. The new market what realities. Is the market reality. When someone said the cost of PMS in the, at the refinery is about 80 naira. Are you not telling me it will not take almost 400 plus to take it to Edo State per liter? Is that what they are saying? If it is 400 naira to take it to Edo State, meaning they will still be making above 31 naira per liter. So let us share it. The importer, the independent marketer now, NPC have to collect. So are you telling me they now use more than 400 naira? So Nigerians should not just sit. The Nigerian Labour Congress should not go to the street and start saying, no, not remove first. So the question the president should answer for them is, why is it like this? Why is the price like this? Yes. If you are telling us not to protest as Labour Congress and TUC, as Nigerians, answer this question for us. We heard it is 18 naira at the refinery over there. Now, why are we buying it like this? If actually there is no subsidy, who are those collecting this money? Where are they? If there shouldn't be any protest, these persons, bring them to book. Let us know them. And let's see the punishment you are going to give to them. It's an economic crime. So, LSC should not come to the and say, no, uh, reduce fuel price. Uh, subsidy shouldn't be removed. We don't want this. It should be a very simple thing. They're on their own. Uh, Pengasi is under TUC, Abi. I guess it's under TUC. Mm. They are all encompassed there. They should go on their personal research. They should do the analysis. They have contact within and outside Nigeria. Mm. That should be their work now, not coming to the street to say we want to block road, no movement, no this, no. Before they should go on this protest, they must have carried out their research, come out with facts and figures. Mr. President, when you go to a refinery at mm. United States of America, the cost of a liter is 80 naira. Bringing it down to Lagos through the seaport is another 40 naira, 50 naira per liter. Mm. Let us assume it's 100 and then it will be 180 per liter. Distributing it to each state, these are the costs. Then why are we buying it like this? So if we must not protest, mm. those that are collecting this money should mm. be brought to book. I, I, I understand that the pressure should be against the price, not against the subsidy. Not against the subsidy. Because let's let be logical here. Mm. It is possible at the end of the whole exercise of research, trying to know the cost of the PMS mm. at the depot, at the refinery, what brought it to Nigeria. And then to the filling station, you now understand that actually it's going to be 500 naira. Now, what they had was just 11 naira. 
then there should be no need for protest. Meaning, Nigeria uh, federal government has been paying subsidy. I don't know if you, if you understand what I'm saying. Analytical, uh, being analytical, fuel at the refinery is 30 naira. Before it got to Nigeria, another two naira had it. Now they are selling five naira, 50 cover. So what they are making from it is 50 cover. So why should we protest? Now, federal government, no more subsidy. You've been paying it, now you are not paying again. What are the palliatives you are bringing to us? If you are reviewing minimum wage, how much is it? I don't know if you are getting it, but if at the end of the day they find out that she actually is 18 at the refinery, one liter getting to a C port here, a C shore here is less than 100 naira, then it will be 180. From Lagos to Benin, maybe another 20 naira per liter. Mm. That would be 200 naira. Then there should be a protest. Who is collecting the money? Who are we enriching? Who are those in charge of the NPC and independent marketers that are making Nigeria to suffer? Mm. Because I, from the angle of the president, I can't pay for fuel subsidy. And you take my friend to Niger, to Benin Republic, to Chad. No, I won't do that. It is a very clear angle. But the LSC should come from this other angle. Sure, to the filling station in Benin, ought to be two, 280, 200. Even without subsidy. Even without subsidy. But now, why is it 511 naira? Mr. President, we are not protesting against you. Bring out those people that are collecting this money. Mm -hmm. Like what I said, federal government is not paying the subsidy. I am buying for 511. I'm paying it indirectly. So, we are going to join LNC and TUC on that ground. I guess as a man that supported Tinubu, mm. uh, as a Baptist, I will be at the forefront of the protest. Mr. President, we will not call you to come here and be playing. People are making us suffering. Now mm. you are the president. When you were not the president, you, you don't have you the protested power. protested too. You don't have the mozo mm. to make them pay for the crime they've done to Nigerians. Now you are in charge. Like what Falana said, let's actually look from that angle. Are you supposed to bring up a pawn price without the notice of the president? Who is in charge? The president. The president is supposed to bring up a minister that will be in charge of that affair. The minister will report to the president. There are crucial decisions the minister can't take without the others of the president. Now, the NPC said, okay, according to market uh, value or market uh, current situation, uh, I guess Lagos State is 449. Mm. Some states are 480. Those states 511. On whose order? So that is to say, there is actually a shady business. Something is going on that we are not understanding. Mm. Uh, if, if, if I was to be in charge of the protests coming out, coming from the angle of the NIC, subsidy removal, no problem, Mr. President. It's okay. But the price itself. The price itself. Our mm. refinery needs to work. Those are the things that we should be striking for. Mm. Those are the things we should be fighting for. We should not be fighting that the man said, okay, I'll be subsidizing this thing. I'm no longer going to subsidize it. No. Mr. President, said, bon, no problem. We are with you. But we are giving you six months. In six months, our mm. finances are not working. We are going to shut down this state, this country. President, we are giving you just one month. This is our report. You give it to the president. Yeah. The refineries are selling for 20 naira. NPC, it will get to them for 40 naira. Why are we not buying for 5 naira? With all the evidence they present to the president, if the president is not wanting to swing it to ash, the president will be moved. Actually, people are eating this money. People are siphoning this money. Previous governments have been paying it. And the cost of what would take PMS to this to Nigeria is 20 naira and we are buying it for 5 naira, no, it won't happen. Mm. So, if they are going to be on the street for that, ha, my brother, a lot of Nigerians are going to join them. Even those that bring the PM, those that bring the Tinubu to power, mm. we will join them. So, you're saying it's not about fighting subsidy removal now, about it's about the price that is on the ground. We should understand if actually first there was subsidy. Mm. 
The Labour Congress have they have contact. They should sit down within themselves and ask these questions. What actually is the cost of PMS at the refinery? How much you take that same PMS to Nigeria? And how much we take it to the fuel station? If all these answers are gotten, mm. we we'll see the protest is going to be very fine. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you so so much. Uh, first, start to spoken from another angle. It is not about the subsidy removal; it's about the price itself. From calculation, should it be up to five hundred and eleven naira? Should be up to one. It is something that according to NPC. Who is the one in charge of placing these prices? If people can target on this, zooming on this according to Festus, then definitely we will definitely have a good good answers in some of these questions. Be definitely Nigerians because Nigerians they are suffering with or without subsidy. Should a uh, price of petrol should be up to five hundred eleven naira? That should be the question right now. Yeah. Subsidy, no going back. We agree. But the price itself, should it be up to that amount? Who are we paying the money to? Who is in charge? Let's see how Labour will really take this up from here. First off, thank you so, so much. I appreciate the wonderful analysis. We'll do it again next week Sunday. God willing. Bye for now.